The resources that you have available to you are um, as a result of the when I say wealth, but the depth that Yale likes to pr provide all of their students, whether it's an undergrad coming in as a freshman, whether it's a, a, a doctoral student, whether it's a postdoctoral student, whether it's a professor who's you know, doing uh, world research. Everybody needs to have resources at whatever their level. Because evidence is the first class, it's the perfect time to introduce students to the array of uh, resources and the array of people that they have available to them. When they're here at Yale, they have not just one librarian, but many librarians they can partner with. They don't have to know the information, they just need to know the people that they can contact in order to find the information. In this program, because of the, the, the wide variety of uh, subjects that you'll be introduced to, we wanted to come into the evidence class and introduce everybody to the, to the different types of resources, whether it's a, a clinical database or a statistics database or um, um, somewhere to go and find the, the latest um, policies and, and legal things. We wanted to bring that all into that class. My goal is to help students get um, up-to-date understanding of those databases uh, we are supplemented with um, uh, the skills and uh, knowledge of our librarians here who are just phenomenal. We go back to those sort of basic things they learned in their master's program of how to do a really good literature review based on scientific evidence, but we expand that to look at reports from uh, the Center of Disease Control, the World Health Organization, uh, Institute of Medicine, um, uh, the Commonwealth. There are all kinds of, of um, studies that have been done by different premier groups. We can easily match resources to the needs of whatever the class is, whatever the student needs. And if we don't have the resource, then, then we'll find that resource, um, whether it's here at Yale or whether it's somewhere else, and, and try and meet those needs for the, for the student. We have a new learning management system that we switched from the old one, which was not very online friendly. And now we have state-of-the-art Canvas uh, learning management system that allows students to post not just text, but also video responses, audio responses. Um, it allows more flexibility for faculty to post their lectures. And uh, during our on-site classes, we also are able to teleconference a lot of guest speakers, which before it was a challenge, now not so much. So we do bring a lot of uh, guest speakers from CDC, from uh, WHO, from, from anywhere that the faculty members feel like they need to bring somebody in. We are able to hold classes during snowstorms and uh, hurricanes, and we've done that before. Um, we had a, the technology allowed us to actually hold a whole class while we were going through Sandy and one student was on half charged phone in a flooded apartment and he still was able to conduct it, it to participate in a two or three hour class. We continue working every single day on um, looking for better ways to make sure that the students feel as if they're on campus and don't feel that distance anymore.